There you go, baby. Have a nice trip. Hey, little friend. You got a good time for me? My destiny will be realized. Just as the prophecy foretells, we shall destroy those who stand against us and bring this city to its knees. The name Bahumat shall once again strike terror into the heart of man. Twenty billion people. We have really screwed up this planet. Half of them could use a blaster shoved down their throat. Drugged out punks. <sighs> Dirty, scuzzy place. I hate Los Angeles. Geez, I'm a friggin' slob. Clothes everywhere, empty beer can. <laughs> Mom would roll over in her grave. If she had a grave. Effin' punks. Overcoat, formed of synthesized animal hide, blackened by age and exposure to pollution. Vid phone terminal. Two-way audio-visual communications device. Damn, thing's always on the blink. Hunter, we've had more reports of kids dying. All were horribly disfigured, like my... my poor daughter. This infection is spreading, whatever it is. You've got to find out what's causing this. I suggest you start at the Pleasure Dome. It's where my daughter was last seen. Look for someone called the Jake. He was one of Chandra's friends. Not that I'd call any of the slime that hangs out there a friend. I'm sending you a vid transmission hard copy of my daughter. It's not pretty, but you might need it. I don't need to remind you that this investigation is strictly unofficial. I don't want a word of this to leak to the press. Good luck. A hard copy image of Chandra Vicenzi is in the fax slot of the vid phone. a good used hover car? Momar's Cars has the answer for you. Come down and check out our fine selection of new and used hover cars. I make you a great deal. <laughs> Blade, where the hell were you last night? We did have a date. Or did that happen to slip your mind? You bag of toxic waste. 
And don't forget that you left your keys at my place. I should just flush them. I'll be at the Bureau of Records early, in case you happen to roll out of bed before noon. ID card entry slot. Activation of unit is dependent upon insertion of authorized ID card. A lumpy pillow. Really need to get these sheets washed. Not that they'd smell any better. Your pistol. First aid kit. Napent. Glass jar containing two years of peanut brittle crumbs. Well, Fisto oatmeal, multi-grain eat meal, long suspected as the cause of numerous cases of spontaneous combustion. Whoa, ruled safe by the FDA world sector amid storms of protest. Fisto powdered H2O, hmm, commonly referred to as dry wash. Powdered H2O is a chemical cleaning agent capable of eating through even the toughest stains and skin if left on for prolonged periods of time. Empty powdered egg box. Broken egg timer. It's locked. Whoa, la di da, nice art. Looks like a friggin' spleen. Rickety death trap elevator. A smelly bum sits on a sidewalk mumbling incoherently to himself. Doom, doom, we're all doomed. Have you gone crazy or what? Bahumat has risen again! I've seen him! What the hell are you talking about? Five thousand years he's waited! We're all doomed! You've been drinking too much rot gut. We're all doomed! Doomed! <laughs> the proprietor of the flower stand is busily at work sorting her merchandise alphabetically by color. Welcome to my place of business, sir. We offer the finest selection of organically grown flowers in the city. My name is Blissful Harmony. You can call me Bliss. How can I help you to find greater harmony in your life? Yeah, see, uh, I'm kind of in trouble with my girlfriend for uh, missing a date, so... I see. I thought I detected anxiety in your aura. It's quite orange. May I suggest a bouquet of roses and a kind apology to your lady friend? An excellent choice, sir. I'm sure that these flowers will help you reforge the spiritual bond with your loved one. Now, if you will give me your card so I can charge your account. Uh, how much is this gonna cost me? Two hundred dollars plus tax. But how can you put a price tag on love? 
May I have your card, sir? It's been a pleasure doing business with you, sir. May you attain happiness and spiritual fulfillment in this life cycle. Goodbye. A large and sinister looking warehouse. Maybe I can peek in the window and see what's going on in there. The old warehouse contains what appears to be some kind of pharmaceutical manufacturing operation. That's a damn sure thing they aren't making aspirin in there. Reactor cooling system subpanel. All power for the industrial cooling machinery inside the warehouse is routed through this electrical panel. <laughs> I'll bet they'd be in real trouble if this panel went out. The decaying pipes carrying various unprocessed hazardous waste materials to a disposal site conveniently located in a nearby wetlands area. Hmm. Huh. Looks like I might be able to squeeze through there. Empty shipping cranks. A small Asian man sits meditatively on an empty shipping crank. He has an air of great wisdom about him and seems curiously at home in this warehouse. Greetings, William Hunter. I am called Chang Li. It is most gratifying to finally make your acquaintance. How do you know who I am? A man can learn a great many things if he knows how to listen. What else have you heard? Many things, William Hunter. I have learned about the tragic death of a young girl who was the daughter of a powerful man in the government. It is also known by my humble self and others that you are investigating this affair. What others? Those who wish you ill. Act with care, William Hunter. You must go now. I can help you no more at present, William Hunter. Please come back if I can be of any more assistance. Leave this place, William Hunter. Your destiny is elsewhere. Are you the one the prophecy speaks of? The prophecy, it foretells the titanic conflict between the evil Bahumat and a great hero. What happens to this hero? He gets torn into thousands of itty-bitty pieces by the evil one. But he saves the universe. That's really encouraging. You must leave. His eyes are everywhere. Doom! We're all dead! The avenue next to City Hall is crowded with surface traffic. City Hall. The last bastion of freedom and democracy. <coughs> Big city. Hours 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Jenny, the city hall receptionist, is, as usual, busily occupied with a laborious task of absolutely no importance. Oh, I hope she doesn't try and come on to me again. Hi, Blade. Want to play house? A little dancing, a little moonlight, a little romance, you know. Oh, it sounds fabulous, darling. But what about that Karen Summers person? She definitely has to go. 
Why don't you go dump her and give me a call on the rebound? See you later, you big stud. Karen Summers, your sometime girlfriend, is hard at work here in the Bureau of Records. Thanks a lot for standing me up last night, you jerk. I had a really special time sitting at home watching Rambo 12 in my brand new evening dress. Where in the hell were you? Out drunk in one of those god-awful pleasure domes again? You could have at least called. You'd better have a darn good excuse for standing me up, Blade. A lovely blade, but you still owe me a night on the town. How about picking me up at 7.30 for dinner at Les Trois? Great. It's a date, then. Here are the keys you left with me, Blade. Yeah, thanks, Karen. You're welcome, Blade. Come back later if you need me to check out anything else for you. See you later. got here? Fisto bar. A black market item. Fisto bars are made of chocolate and melted banana peels. Chocolate is a very rare and sought after item. This just might come in handy for my uh, friends at the Pleasure Dome. Just what this effing city needs. Doesn't look like I'd better do any sleeping for a while. One wrong step to the bathroom, and I'd really have something to piss about. Pleasure Dome. Anything can and does happen in these dens of iniquity. If it's illegal and you want to try it, chances are you can find it in here. Hold on a second while we scan you. No guns allowed. Check them or get lost. Peace. We are pity to lose it. The 
Got anything else for us? Chocolate? The wife will love this. Better take this claim check for your weapon. We have a habit of forgetting a face around here. of a man holding a very large and lethal looking automatic weapon stands guard at the entrance to the pleasure dome. You got a death wish or something? The man in the fashionable yellow jacket stares intently at his cards, apparently unaware of anything else in the room. Beat it, Crumb. The Asian gentleman in the green hat is completely absorbed in a game of one-card stud poker he's playing. Can't you see I'm busy playing a hand here? A woman posing as a man, uh, posing as a woman, plays cards with two other Pleasure Dome patrons. Excuse me, miss? Yes? My name is William Hunter. People call me Darcy. I bet 75. You're bluffing your ass off, Sam. Call. Just ignore them. Now, what do you want? Hurry up and discard, Dars. Shut up, fool. You're being rude. <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't seen that person, William. Why don't you try the bar? Perhaps there is someone there who can help you. Now, if you will excuse me, I must get back to relieving these gentlemen of their excess credits. Goodbye, William. A scantily clad woman undulates suggestively upon the raised stage. <laughs> Hubba hubba. A sour looking man with a patch over one eye pounds tequila, straight shots at a table near the main stage. Yo, what's up? I'm looking for a man called the Jake. Hmm. What do I look like? The frigging Bureau of Missing Persons. You want to find somebody? Why don't you hire a private dick? I am a private investigator. <laughs> Some P.I. I'd be surprised if you could find your own name in the Vidphone directory. Very funny. Look, have you seen the Jake or not? I ain't seen him. Of course, I've been busy drinking this gin joint out of tequila. Now, if you'll pardon us, me and Jose Cuervo got some serious business to attend to. Hey, greetings, officer. I'm not a police officer. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> no offense. I'm a private investigator, and the name's not Dude, it's Blade. Sorry, dude. Uh, I mean, Blade. People around here call me Casey Jones. What can I do you for? Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, sorry, Blade, dude. You know, all I got's my own private reserve. And I'm down to, like, a few kilos. The dealer who comes in here hasn't been around for a while. You ever seen a girl named Chandra buying in here? What was that name again? It's Chandra, damn it. Have you seen her or not? Chill, man. I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, now I remember. You mean Chandra. Oh, last time I saw her, she was with the Jake. Uh, that was a while ago, though. You know where I can find him? Sure, man. Me and the Jake, we're like real tight. Uh, I can't quite remember what he looks like, though. 
Oh well, ask around. If he's here, I'm sure you'll run into him eventually. Uh, if he wants you to, that is. <laughs> Thanks for the info. No problem. I'll see you around, dude. I mean, man. I mean, Blade. Oh, uh, don't bother me now. I'm clipping a good buzz. I don't want to spoil it. Hello there, handsome. I'm Candy. Looking for a good time, big guy? You're not very nice. The name's William Hunter, but people call me Blade. Well, Blade, is that a knife in your pocket? <laughs> or you're just glad to meet me? I, uh... I thought so. What do you say we split this scene? I've never heard of him. Maybe you should ask Majalambo. He knows everybody who comes in here. Majang Mambo? The bartender, silly. Now run along. You're monopolizing the merchandise, if you know what I mean. The monstrous proprietor of the bar wears a mean expression on his face and looks as if he could easily tear the arms off any person foolish enough to anger him. What you want, wimp? Who you calling wimp, rhino breath? What? I mean, I'd like to order a drink, please. We don't serve cops in my bar, buddy. I'm not a police officer anymore. Don't matter. You still smell like pig, man. Maybe I have, and maybe I haven't. What's it to you? I have some business with him. Like hell. I'm sure he'll want to hear what I have to say. I don't think he'll care to listen to anything you tell him. But if you want to find him, Ask the guy in the green court at the end of my bar. Yo, Kissa, what you want? Hey, Uptown, your attitude needs a lot to be desired. Think you better pound some other beat. One of his friends? What would he want with a friend? Just who might this friend be that the Jake would want to take time from his busy schedule for him? What the hell are you talking about, pal? Shandy? Unless you got proof, get out of my face! Oh my god, Shandy! In my office! Oh my god, Shandy! The name's Willard Jakeston. Everybody calls me the Jake. Shandy thought it up. Holy mother, what happened to her? I mean, what could have done this? She was, damn it, she was stupid. I told her, told her that Chen was. Nobody never heard of him. Look, bud, Chandra was a big girl, damn it. What the hell did this to her? Because I'm a coward. Look, you think I wanted this to happen? She was my only friend. All right, his name is Chen. He's a pimp for some big timers down in Chinatown. He's got a place over at 544 Wallaby Street, number 798. That's all I know. Shandy was hanging around with him and his group. I'll be around you find anything out. Get out of my face now. I don't want people seeing me talking to a slicker like you. that goon with the eye patch is. Maybe he's one of Chen's buddies.
Hey, watch it! My fault. Yeah, well, you really should be more careful in this neighborhood. I hear there are a lot of dangerous criminals around. The twisted remains of Chen Lu's horribly disfigured body offer mute testimony to the savage power of the substance which killed him. The remains of an expensive couch. It reeks of stale beer and cigarettes. Chen has an impressive amount of expensive audio-video equipment. Where does this guy get the money for all this stuff? Ah. You have failed us, Brother Lu. Your irresponsible actions have brought unwarranted attention to our production operation. The girl you killed was the daughter of a powerful man. He will seek to avenge himself upon us. I am sending my personal representative to discuss the matter with you. Goodbye, Brother Lu. <laughs> Unit 41, Unit 41, we have an illegal entry at 544 Wallaby Street, number 798. Go check it out. Unit 41, roger. What the hell is this? statue. Something evil about the eyes makes it seem almost as if it, as if it were alive. It's a safe. I must regretfully inform you that we are a week behind schedule on our production quota. We must be ready in three days or the schedule will not be met. We need more time. We're already pushing the end of the safety margin for the reactor coolant systems. You must push them harder. You will either meet the production schedule or face the wrath of Bahumat. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll see what more can be done, Mr. Kwong. Now it's almost time for me to pick up Karen for our date tonight. Damn, I wish I didn't have this case right now. But a lot more people may be hurt if I don't catch the slime who offed Chandra. And I can sure use the money the mayor's paying me. 
On the other hand, if I skip out on Karen this time, she'll probably never speak to me again. I don't want to get her pissed at me. And I've been maybe, I don't know, just a little inconsiderate lately. <sighs> what should I do? Hey, beautiful. <laughs> you ready to hit the town? I'm impressed, Blade. You're even on time. A toast to us. To us. It is good to see you again, William Hunter. Celestial signs indicate a time of great change in this world, William Hunter. Saturn in retrograde will soon be occluded by the moon in the constellation of Draco the Dragon. Events of great pitch and moment are afoot. The old order shall be destroyed and the new shall take its place. You alone can challenge the evil Bahumat and prevent ascendancy of the Dark One. Chosen? By whom? What for? Old man, just what in the hell are you running off at the mouth about? Please to stop asking so many silly questions and let me finish. Signs, portents, omens, sheep entrails, and fortune cookies have all foretold of the coming battle with the Dark One. They also predict that a hero will arise to combat him. Is this the, uh, hero who gets chopped into thousands of itty-bitty pieces? Yes, but that's only half of it. There's more? Yes, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. Not a great deal. But please to let me offer my humble assistance to aid you. Intriguing. This wrist translates as pharaohs. Brethren, the rise of the dragon is upon us. Target date, 3-8-56-87. Hollywood Reservoir. Long live Bahumat. Fine, but what the hell does it mean? I cannot fathom it completely, but I can tell you that Bahumat was an evil warlord magician who came to power in the latter part of the 7th century on the Chinese calendar. This translates to roughly 3000 BC on your Julian calendar. The ancient scrolls say he used the power of evil to transform himself into a dragon to terrorize and destroy his enemies. His ultimate goal was to restore chaos and rule the world in darkness. Bahumat and his minions destroyed many cities and killed and enslaved thousands of people. What happened to him? Not to interrupt, please. I'm coming to it. According to legend, he was finally overcome by the power of a white magician named Gin Su, which means knife in your language. Unfortunately, knife was critically injured in the battle and it was the last act of his departing soul to summon all the powers of light to banish Bahumat to the netherworld for 5,000 years. The date on the piece of paper translates to August 3rd, 2053 on your calendar. As for the name Hollywood, it is completely unfamiliar to me. So Bahumat is uh, gone forever, right? Not precisely. There is a prophecy foretelling his return in the age of decay, marking the dawn of darkness, the dragon will arise. His evil shall become an addiction in the soul of mankind, and death shall be a blessing to those he has touched. Many will fear him. Many will fall before him. 
one will sacrifice all to destroy him. Sounds like a lot of baloney to me. Please do not judge things you do not understand. What you believe at this juncture is irrelevant. Time will prove the truth of what I have spoken to you. Now I must render you what aid I can. Here are ancient talismans of protection and good fortune to carry on your person at all times. First, tome of ancient wisdom given to me by most aged and honorable father. Second, stone of life pressed by Lama. And third, if all else fails, bulletproof vest Kevlar made by DuPont. Also, pleased to have this fortune cookie. Thanks for all your help, Chang Li. Good luck on quest, William Hunter. Please to remember, fate of millions rides on your shoulders. Goodbye. and quit bothering me. Is there anything else you'd like me to take a look at, Blade? Oh, Blade, it's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I knew you'd like it. I hope I don't need that later. Is there anything else you'd like me to take a look at, Blade? through the computer and see what information the databank has on this character. Here it comes now. Is there anything else you'd like me to take a look at, Blake? idea what this patch has been doped with, but I can have the lab boys analyze it for you. It won't be ready until tomorrow, though. Oh, that'll be fine. Look, I'll come get the report when it's ready. for your weapon. We have a habit of forgetting a face around here. Please don't bother me. I'm trying to concentrate. Go away. Me and Jose are busy. <laughs> Me. I'm trying to, like, expand my consciousness. 
You're wasting your time, Blade. Go away! We don't serve your kind in here! Hunter! In my booth, we gotta talk. Word on the street is that Chan's dead. Same thing that happened to Shandi. I hope he hurt. Right down to the end, I hope he went out in pain. Lots of pain for what he did to Shandi. Seems he was tied up with some kind of drug operation run by the Chinese mafia. Word is they're gearing up for something very big. They're operating out of an old warehouse right under the nose of City Hall. Man, somebody should take those bastards out. Sure, what you got? Chocolate, where'd you get this? Don't mind if I hang on to this, do you? Anything else? I'll let you know if I hear anything more. Now I gotta go. I've got a um, business meeting to attend to. Get lost, man. I don't want people seeing us talking. Johnny Quang's residence is a virtual fortress, complete with armed security guards and electric fences. Oh, man, you must have steelies. I wouldn't go down there for nothing. There are rats as big as dogs down there. <coughs> <laughs> Oh man, I really hate rats. Hmm, a vid phone trunk. I think Johnny may need his line check. Vid phone maintenance access panel. Super lock model number 711. Bulletproof, unpickable lock. Not sure, but that thing looks like the ground wire. Wire terminal. Damn, this looks really complicated. You know, I may not be an electrician, but that sure looks like a battery terminal to me. Voltage regulator. The unpleasant odor of burning flesh reaches your nostrils a brief instant before the even more unpleasant realization that the flesh is yours. You barely have time to utter. Oh, shit. Before your vocal cords snap and are fried along with the rest of your body to a crisp, hardly detectable remnant by several thousand volts of high ampage electricity. Now I just have to check my vid phone to see who's calling our pal Johnny Kwan.
please insert your ID card. Greetings, Brother Kwong. It is I, Deng Huang. I have received some unsettling news concerning a possible disruption in our production schedule. There must be no further delays, Brother Kwong. I want you to personally continue checking on progress down at our warehouse. You will resolve this situation quickly. Good day. Good news, Mr. Kwong. We've made up more than a day's worth of production in the last 24 hours. What? You pathetic fool. That still leaves us six days behind schedule. But we've already begun to exceed the safety margins. To hell with the margins. Push the reactors to the red line. But the reactors could blow us all the hell if they become overheated. There are many ways to die, some of which are more painful and drawn out than others. <laughs> I suggest you think about that. I uh, won't fail you again, Mr. Kwong. You're right. You have 32 hours to meet the production quota. But somebody's going to be mad. Again, brother, I have just learned that our downtown warehouse was destroyed by the former police officer, William Hunter. Your security precautions were clearly inadequate, brother. Please come to our factory headquarters on the northern outskirts of the city to discuss this matter immediately. Good day. Thank you all for coming here on such short notice, especially you, Brother Kwong. There has been a severe disruption in our MTZ production operation. This interference is the result of William Hunter's meddling in our affairs. A man you failed to stop, Brother Kwong! You know what the penalty for failure is, Brother? Bahumat's wrath must be appeased! 
Your soul shall feed the dragon! No! Wait! This is the price of failure. I suggest you all remember it. Snake, bring me this blade hunter's head on a plate. Use whatever means is necessary. He and all that he cares for must be destroyed. Boy, am I tired. Better get some sleep in about an hour. Ah, home sweet home. This bed might be kind of lumpy, but it sure beats sleeping on the sidewalk. Hello again, sir. How can I be of service to you? I'd like to buy flowers. I'm sorry, sir. We no longer carry flowers. What? Come on, this is a flower shop. I can no longer bring myself to kill helpless plants simply for human vanity. It brings disharmony to the universe. <laughs> Never mind. Blade, it's nice to see you again. I have that lab report you wanted. No problem, lover boy. Here's the tape. Watch your backside, Blade. That's some pretty heavy stuff you've got there. Is there anything else you'd like me to take a look at, Blade? Hmm. This is very unusual. There's a sleeper gate attached to this file. If anyone tries to access the information contained inside the file, it will set off an alarm and wipe the system. I can try to bypass it. But if that doesn't work, we could be in a very unhealthy situation. If you say so, Blade. Here goes. What little information there is in the computer on this guy is almost two years old. No birth date, SID number, or address? Hell, there's not even a physical description of the guy. His name appears in connection with some Fed investigations concerning the Chinese Mafia and a break-in at a military genetic research facility at Los Alamos. In the course of this incident, they killed 20 people and burned the place to the ground. There's no mention of anything being stolen, and all other details are classified. Now what the hell does the Chinese Mafia want with a genetic research facility? Something very strange is going on here. There's no way I can get any more information without tripping some heavy security. So I'm going to wipe all record of this trace. Then I'm going to get back to work and pretend none of this happened. You'd better get out of here. Hello again, Blade. 
nice to see you. If it were up to me, you could see anyone you want, but the mayor is extremely busy right now. Tell him that I have some information which I'm sure he would prefer be kept out of the public eye. After all, uh, this is an election year. Sorry, Blade, but I can't have you marching into the mayor's office every time you want your parking tickets fixed. If you're pulling my leg this time, we are both going to catch hell. Mr. Mayor, William Hunter's here to see you on an extremely urgent matter. He's not here to get me to fix some parking tickets, is he? He claims it is urgent, sir. He is threatening to reveal information which would hurt your chances to be re-elected. Very well. Send him up. Hello, Mr. Hunter. I hope this is more than a courtesy call. You're damn right it is. And I am sick and tired of being given the runaround by your people. You are the effing jerk who hired me for this gig, remember? And then you act like I'm a radioactive when I try and get in touch with you. It would not be appropriate for me to be seen publicly in your company, Mr. Hunter. I only hired you because there's no one else who knows the scum of this city the way you do. Oh, yeah. A lot of it's in this building. Let's drop all pretenses. I pulled you up from the gutter. And if you don't do this the way I tell you to, you'll end up right back there. Or worse. I have information which indicates your daughter may have been involved with a member of the Chinese Mafia, and likely a drug addict to boot. If you have any information of that nature, I strongly suggest you leave it in my possession. Releasing it could prove detrimental to your health. I want you to tell me everything you've discovered, Mr. Hunter. Fine. Tell me what I want to know or I'll have you thrown in a jail cell. Shandi was hanging around a Chinese mafioso named Chen Lu. It seems he gave us some bad juice bad with a capital B. See, it was laced with some exotic virus that uh, scrambles your genes. It's all on this tape. Do you have any leads on this Chen Lu? Well, I uh, found what was left of him on the floor of the apartment. Since he died the same way Shandi did, it seems likely that the uh, Chinese Mafia is somehow involved with this MTZ. Uh, you haven't done anything to tick them off lately, have you? No. Somehow I'm not reassured. I can't trust the police to deal with this situation effectively, Mr. Hunter. So I'd like you to follow up on it further. I want you to find out who is ultimately responsible for this MTZ operation. And then I want you to shut down the operation, permanently. Don't be so quick to take an extreme position, Mr. Hunter. <laughs> I'm sure we can work something out. Look, I have been busting my ass for you, nosing around some seriously fatal mobsters, and all I get for my trouble is a lot of flack from you. How about a little cooperation here, huh? I do not like being left hung out to dry. Official help is, of course, out of the question. But I can give you a security pass which will allow you to get some increased firepower from the police armory. In protective custody, of course. has been concluded. I wouldn't go in there if I were you, Blade. Show me your pass. Now, that's some pretty impressive clearance for a civilian. The M1000X assault rifle. 
truly awesome firepower. Ow! Guess again. Please insert your ID card. William Hunter. This is your adversary. I have a friend of yours with me. I believe that she may in fact be somewhat more than a friend. <laughs> in any case, Karen Summers is in my custody. She is in good health for the moment. And provided you cooperate, there is every reason to expect that she will stay that way. You have caused us a slight inconvenience, nothing more. However, you must cease meddling in affairs that are no concern of yours. Further resistance on your part is futile, Mr. Hunter. You cannot win, and you will only bring destruction on yourself and those you care about. Consider my words carefully. You will not receive another warning. Good day! Boy, am I tired. Better get some sleep in about an hour. Ah, home sweet home. This bed might be kind of lumpy, but it sure beats sleeping on the sidewalk. What can I do for you? Still wasting time with that chick, I see. Very well. Go on in. Hey, beautiful. The stud of your life is here. Back off, dude. I'm not interested. Yo, oh, ooh, uh, <laughs> sorry. My mistake. I'd better watch myself or they'll start calling me Switchblade. Boy, am I tired. Better get some sleep in about an hour. Ah, home sweet home. This bed might be kind of lumpy, but it sure beats sleeping on the sidewalk. Thank you. 
Hunter, we gotta talk, but not at the dome. Word on the street is that some very lethal dudes are stalking a P.I. who's been nosing around too much. Unless you want to end up very dead, meet me at the warehouse at 8.30 tonight. Citizens of Los Angeles, this is the voice of Bahumat. What I am is not important at the moment, but know this. I will soon be in absolute control of the city. <laughs> I have only two demands. First, Mayor Vicenzi must dismiss the entire police force and resign his office. Second, Five hundred million dollars in diamonds and platinum must be delivered to me in a time, place, and manner of my choice. If my demands are not agreed to in principle within the next ten hours, I will spread my considerable stocks of Dragon MTZ among the city's population. Certain parts of the law enforcement community in this city are, I believe, already familiar with the action of this substance on the body of a normal person. Suffice it to say, MTZ poisoning is an extremely unpleasant way to die. <laughs> Consider this fair warning, Mr. Mayor. Do not attempt any tricks, or I will kill every living thing in the city and county of Los Angeles. I sincerely hope that will not be necessary. I am, after all, a reasonable individual. As long as my conditions are fulfilled, long live Bahumat! Deploy dispersal units to the reservoir. saving my bacon, man. Now you better get moving. I hear they got your girl stashed at DH Enterprises Corporate HQ. And Blade, take this ID card with you. It might come in handy.
destination map. Struggling, my dear. You'll soon be dead. And so will Blade Hunter if he tries to rescue you. Dragon logo of DH Enterprises on it. Security surveillance camera. The receptionist for DH Enterprises has the appearance of a woman who conducts herself in a businesslike and professional manner. Oh, she's kind of cute too. Phased array laser security gate controls for this type of device are typically operated remotely from another room. You'll be fried if you try that. Hello, sir. How may I help you? Wait a minute. Do I know you from somewhere? You really look familiar. Wait a minute. Now I remember. You're Billy Hunter. Whoa, busted. Listen, I haven't heard that name in a long time. Remember me? I'm Lorraine Luttrell from Ridgemont. We had several classes together. Thanks, I think. How about getting together a little later for dinner and a drink or something? <laughs> Use your imagination. Hey, sounds like a good time. You know, but first, I really need to get into the security room to uh, check out something. Gee, I, I'm really not supposed to let anyone in there. Hey, 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 I wouldn't ask if it weren't extremely important, right? There's a lot of dangerous business going down, and I think my boss uh, may be involved somehow. Besides, I won't tell anyone you let me in. Scout's on it. I'm sure you wouldn't, but I can't afford to risk my job. Sorry, William. I just can't. Now, you'd better go. I could already be in trouble for talking to you this long. Stuff. Just a little joy juice. Mm, I like it. <laughs> hey, darling, you think you could let me in the security room to do a little sabotage? Uh, um, um, sure. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Whoa, maybe I shouldn't have used so much on her. Oh well, live and learn. Insert ID card or enter manual override. Recognized. Security system off. What the? Maybe I shouldn't have let that guy back there. Hey, what was that stuff you sprayed me with? I'm calling 
security. That's funny. I don't hear the alarm. I disconnected the alarm system. Sorry I had to torpedo you like that. But your boss is up to no good. And if I don't stop him, a lot of people are gonna get hurt. You better get out of here. Things are gonna get nasty. Main breaker switch on. Sub panel circuit wiring. Oh my god! Karen, what have those bastards done to you? Please help me, Blade! The love of your life, Karen Summers, lies there helplessly, strapped to a hideous and deadly drug injection machine. Arterial injection collar capable of rapidly introducing large amounts of any drug into a subject's bloodstream. Thank God you're safe. Thank God I'm safe. Check the prisoner. That doesn't sound very safe to me. Let's get out of here. Which way? Quick, the stairs. Oops, I think we must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. There they are. You pathetic fool. You dare to challenge me? You have absolutely no idea who you are up against. Not whatsoever. Holy... I am Bahumat! So much for Bahuma. Talk about delusions of grandeur. Blade! You're hurt! Let me take you home. Not yet. I have some unfinished business to take care of. All units, form a perimeter and take your defensive positions. Area secure yet, Lieutenant? The only resistance we're encountering is from a sniper holed up near some main entrance. He's got us pinned down. Ah! 
Out of my way, punk. You weren't up front with me about how heavy the situation was, Vinny. Karen could have been killed by that maniacal iguana, and for that matter, so could I. The important thing is that Deng Huang's drug cult has been broken up and his factory destroyed. Thanks to my plan, the citizens of Los Angeles are safe again. Compared to the well-being of this entire city, you are insignificant. I can live with sacrificing two people if it means 14 million can be saved. Well, then, I hope you can live with this. I'll be by to pick up my check later. Come on, Cameron, let's get the hell out of here. Walking off into the sunset, you bask in the warm glow of Karen's affection and the knowledge that you have vanquished the forces of evil for now. Doesn't look like I'd better do any sleeping for a while. One wrong step to the bathroom, and I'd really have something to piss about. Ugh. Maybe I could put some clothes on. You in the birthday suit. You're under arrest for indecent exposure. Maybe next time I should put my clothes on before I leave the apartment. No guns allowed. Check them or get lost. Your peace. I won't ask nice again. Is your DNA mutated, or are you just naturally stupid? Bad call, mister. Relatedly, you realize you don't have a loaded weapon. The point is driven home as uh, several bullets from Snake's gun uh, slam into your body. Slipping out of your physical existence, you are confronted by an unavoidable conclusion. You died because you were dumb. You try to scream for help as the huge rats swarm over you. But the best you can manage is a slight 
gurgling sound as one of the bile creatures sinks his wickedly sharp teeth into your neck, ripping a six-inch gash in the front of your throat. The unpleasant odor of burning flesh reaches your nostrils a brief instant before the even more unpleasant realization that the flesh is yours. You barely have time to utter. Oh, shit. Before your vocal cords snap and are fried along with the rest of your body to a crisp, hardly detectable remnant by several thousand volts of high ampage electricity. White, hot pain radiates outward from the drug patch on your neck. It's malignant mutagens burning agony into every nerve fiber as it warps the DNA of your body into something no longer remotely human. Almost got it, just a little more. Ugh. You battle valiantly against a half dozen burly security guards. But the outcome is never really in doubt. <sighs> Struggling, you rise for the last time. You feel a sharp pain and hear a sickening cr- Hello there, handsome. I'm Candy. Looking for a good time, big guy? about you and me getting out of here and into a place a little more intimate. My, my. <laughs> what a witch you are, Blade. Shall we go then? I've always wondered what it would be like to party with a private dick. You got any of those handcuffs? Your place or mine? My, 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 you have the most beautiful eyes. Again, you two-timing bastard! And don't bother coming around anymore. I'm having my locks changed. It sure will be hard to crack this case without Karen's help. Maybe even impossible. Hey, maybe you should restore a saved game. Oh boy, am I tired. Better get some sleep in about an hour. Man, am I tired. I'll just close my eyes for a minute. <sighs> Maybe that'll help.
Unit 41, Unit 41, we have an illegal entry at 544 Wallaby Street, number 798. Go check it out. Unit 41, roger. Dispatch, we have the place surrounded. We're moving in now. Freeze, Turkey. One move and you're vaporized. Better get homicide down here. We've got us another mutant. My God. Look what he's done to that poor slob on the floor over there. All right, Buster. We're going to take a little ride to the Gray Bar Hotel. Oh, great. Now what am I going to do? I can't believe Blade stood me up again! He is history now. Are these walls getting closer, or is it just me? I wonder why the mayor wants this guy bailed out. All right, scumbag. You're free to go. But you better watch it from here on out. You end up in my jail again, and you're gonna be here a long while. No matter who's pulling the strings for you. Those bastards will pay. Oh, no. Jake, little buddy. Looks like the Jake is resting. No, he's dead. Your body riddled with bullets. You, you collapse on the cold, wet syntho pavement. Through your dimming vision, you, you see Rocky and, and Bullwinkle approaching you. Bullwinkle gives you a vicious kick to the head. Oh, man, he must have steel tips in those big shoes. No, wait, wait a minute. It's not Bullwinkle. It's, it's one of the goons. Oh, you must be hallucinating. As the world fades to black, you think, I should have just gone to Wally World. Wait till the city gets a taste of this. In a matter of hours, the city of Los Angeles will be completely under our domination. The rise of the dragon is upon us. Boy, am I thirsty. I think I'll have a drink at this water fountain. Wait! You can't just... Don't try to stop me, Jenny. Come in, Mr. Hunter. I've been expecting you. I'll bet you didn't expect this, Your Honor. Put that gun away! Don't be a fool! How about I put a bullet in your skull instead? Listen, William. I'm terribly sorry that Karen Summers was killed. 
But we're dealing with some very ruthless people who would have killed millions if you hadn't stopped their drug operation. Yeah, right. You drag Karen into this mess. You know, you shouldn't mess with people's lives, Vinny. You might not be prepared to face the consequences. You may have stopped me this time, Blade, but I shall crush you when our paths cross again, and cross they must, for the dragon shall rise again! gonna pay for this dang. I swear you won't live out this day. I'll get Deng Huang for this. It's Deng Huang! Huang, your drug pushing days are over. Out of my way! So much for Bahuma. Talk about delusions of grandeur. All units, form a perimeter and take your defensive positions. Is the area secure yet, Lieutenant? The only resistance we're encountering is from a sniper holed up near some main entrance. He's got us pinned down. Out of my way, punk. You weren't up front with me about how heavy the situation was, Vinny. Karen was killed by that maniac. The important thing is that Deng Wang's drug cult has been broken up and his factory destroyed. Thanks to my plan, the citizens of Los Angeles are safe again. Compared to the well-being of this entire city, you are insignificant. I can live with the sacrifice of one person if it means I can save 14 million. I hope you can live with this, Your Honor. I'm out of here. Walking off into the sunset, you console yourself over the loss of Karen with the knowledge that you have vanquished the forces of evil. For now. 